Hi guys, I'm Dimitri with XYZ Create and these are my sunglasses. This isn't a bit for this video. These are my actual everyday sunglasses. I tried painting them green, but the paint reacted really weird with the plastic and at some point the frames broke and the lenses fell up. So I hot glued them back into place. These are hideous and as a maker, I think I could do better. So I did. I start this project off by attaching my template to a piece of 1 8 inch clear acrylic. Using my Bulbasaur, I mean my bandsaw, I use cut to separate the pieces and I save one for a future build. This 3 quarter inch resaw blade on my bandsaw tends to chip the acrylic, so I stay a good distance away from the line. Using my disc and belt sander, I smooth out the rough cut left behind by the bandsaw and bring the shape down to the line. Using my spindle sander, I sand all the spots my disc sander couldn't reach. I give the piece its final sanding by hand using 220 grit sandpaper. Once the piece is completely sanded, I can remove the protective film and the template. I'll be harvesting all the hardware I need from this pair of sunglasses I bought at the dollar store. I start by removing the temple pieces from the hinge mechanism. <clears throat> A little help please? Thanks buddy. The heat from the candle softens the plastic around the hinge, making it much easier to remove. The protruding parts on the bottom of the hinge won't allow it to lay flat on the lens. In order to fix this, I need to grind them flat. My disc sander removed the majority of the material and I cleaned up the rest using a file. Here's a before and after of what the bottom of the hinge should look like. To get the hinge placement on the lens just right, I lay it down on the template with their exact location marked. After taping down the lens to the template so it doesn't shift around, I attach the hinges using E6000 adhesive. The E6000 adhesive has a fairly long working time, which allows me to get the hinges exactly where I want them. Using a toothpick, I clean up any excess glue squeeze out from around the hinge. Something that I had overlooked when sanding the lenses was that a burr had formed. To fix this, I quickly knocked it down using a razor blade. So, in order to give these shades their, well, shade, I'll be using this. 
automotive window tint film. And this stuff's really cool. It blocks out 95% of all light and blocks out UV rays. And it should be perfect for these sunglasses. I need a clean work surface for this. So I lay down a sheet of acrylic. I measure out how much tint I'll need, plus a little bit extra on each side, and I cut it to length. I remove the clear protective sheet from the back of the film. My friend Squirtle used Bubble Beam and soaked the entire film and the lenses with soapy water. With both parts wet, I can apply the film to the lenses. Starting from the center, I squeegee out any air bubbles and excess water. With all the excess water removed, I can trim the film to final size using an X-Acto knife. I use the edge of the acrylic to guide my blade, giving me a perfect cut. With the lenses complete, it's time to work on the temple pieces. And while I personally love the leopard print, it doesn't fit the theme of this build, so it has to go. Using a fresh razor blade, I scrape away all the leopard spots. The razor blade did an excellent job removing the print, but it left the surface scratchy and dull. In order to restore the temple pieces, I start by wet sanding them with 2000 grit sandpaper. Once the pieces are sanded, I buff them out using a microfiber towel and some polishing compound. Just look at that beautiful shine. With all the parts complete, it's time to assemble them into a full pair of sunglasses. With the last screw tightened, this project is done. So I hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys would like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos. That'll do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Squirtle, squirtle, squirtle.